What's up, guys? This is your daily twin flame energy reading. Today is August 27th. And today's reading was brought to you by Gem Body. This is my brand that I just created out here in Leesville, in Louisiana. I have a warehouse slash retail space. And I'm really excited about it. I was given an opportunity. My readings told me that I would have an opportunity come through from a woman with a coin. And um, I did. And she gave me an opportunity to lease retail space for my businesses. And I'm really getting into my masculine energy. So today's reading was brought to you by Jim Body. And if you want to show support, let me know. And I'll, I'll post a link in the comments where you can pre-order it and help me launch my business. I could use your likes, shares, comments, pre-orders, or whatever it is that you have to offer. I thank you for it. So anyway, I, I started pulling the cards already because I had already started a video and then I messed up. So um, I'm just starting it over. So, lots of things going on in the Twin Flame Collective. This is the cards I've been pulling for those that resonate with the masculine energy. And what's crazy about that is you may resonate as a feminine, but if you're balancing your masculine energy, you might resonate with the masculine energy of the day. And the masculine might resonate with the feminine energy if he or she is trying to find balance within the you know, spirituality and things of that sort. So, today's message, just look at the, um, the overall energy of the messages for each one and determine which one it is that you resonate with. First, Chakra, Archangel Michael, the garden and the gate. Going outside the gate, abundance, taking action. Yes! Usually the garden now and the gate is usually about inaction and not doing what, you know, not stepping outside the gate. But this action wanted to show itself. So that means this masculine energy is focused on getting outside the gate, putting in the work, the masculine energy required to get outside the gate to blessings, to abundance, to opportunity. And it's being helped by first chakra Archangel Michael to lead you the way, to help you to um, overcome the obstacles, but no, to lead you to better times in life. This is more, things are going to start going with the flow. And it goes in accordance with my daily energy reading as well. Blessings on blessings on blessings. The energy reading that I read on my Instagram page today. Things are going to start going very well. When you balance your energies, that's what happens. Just like gym body is going to go off, plans will go off without a hitch. Be very successful. And it won't require as much turmoil as my previous projects because spirit brought me to this point and it's and I'm more balanced. And when you balance, when you're balanced, things flow to you. Okay, so what do we have here? Do we need some clarifying cards? Yes, so masculine energies is working towards it. Honestly, tables are about to turn for the masculine energy. Where are my clarifying? Where's my clarifying deck? The masculine energy is about to come into success, achievement, and the following. You know, we've been reading this for a while now where the masculine and feminine gets in tune with their journeys and they reach a level of success but it's like okay when is it going to happen it's about to happen the first card is the six of wands success achievement attraction a following um being in your power being in alignment with your true self and, and attracting an audience because of that so we can expect the audience to be attracted to the masculine and then again what I'm resonating right now is this is the person that usually resonate as the feminine. This is what this energy is for. The person that usually resonate as a feminine is I'm reading cards. I pull them for the masculine, but because the feminine is balancing the masculine energy, thank you, spirit. You know, sometimes when these get in the deck, spirit pulls them out for me. Anyway, so those that usually resonate as the feminine is now resonating as the masculine energy so feminine um expect blessings and abundance that is in alignment with their true self the high priestess was clarified the six of wands clarified by the high priestess yes i knew it didn't i just say that guys i said this is the feminine even though this is pulled i'm pulling cards for the divine masculine energy this is the feminine embodying the masculine energy so six of one clarified by the high priest is proving to me that this is one, a person in alignment with their true self, but also 
this is and the king of cups is right on the bottom of the deck when i pull that um sometimes i look at the bottom of the deck when i pull a clarifying card as well so i can kind of get more information but this is for the feminine king of wands king of cups came out again i knew it wanted to come i knew it this is the feminine finding balance this is the feminine um being putting herself in a position or his or herself in a position to receive working hard heavily towards achieving our goals and balance so and that's why success is inevitable that's why attraction is inevitable things are going to go you know again i said attraction and queen of wands is right there this is why things are going to go off without a hitch plans are going to go um through with no issues what's this king of wands spirit what is this king of wands king of wands this leo energy has been coming out coming out coming out this is a partnership between a libra and a leo this is a partnership coming together between king of wands resonates with i believe leo it may but we could just say a fire sign aries leo sagittarius and a libra coming together this is a partnership manifesting during libra season i don't need to clarify this this is libra season but, you know, let's see what we get. Uh, four of Wands is on the bottom of the deck anyway. I mean, Four of Swords. Clarifying the same thing. Libra energy. Um, Libra season energy. But let's see what um, we get for this Three of Swords. Eight of Swords. More air sign energy. But I'm still resonating with um, during Venus and Libra. I'm resonating with... A partnership that was once tied up coming together during Libra season. A partnership that was once felt like it wasn't going to come together finally manifesting during Libra season. And also the Three of Pentacles is right under there. Synergetic, divine intervention, bringing two people together. Divine timing, bringing two people together. Cosmo, cos, um, astrological influence from the cosmos. From the universe, from spirit, from ancestral, from ancestors, from divine guides, bringing these two together during Libra season. So, right now, while the feminine is working on herself, that's opening the door for this connection during Libra season. But what is this Eight of Cups spirit? What is this Eight of Cups? Oh my goodness! I don't like when I, you know what? I, too many cards. What is this Eight of Cups? Why does all these cards want to come out? So, Seven of Swords about hard work and determination and dedication. Oh, okay. And then we have the Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Lots of mental energy. Again, Libra season, I understand why it would be a lot of air energy as well. So, walking away from um, things that no longer serves balance. So if the masculine or feminine comes together with an offer or the feminine who is resonating in this masculine energy has an offer, he or she is no longer taking anything that's not in conducive to balance, that's not in alignment with new you know, opportunities and blessings. So balance is bringing in new opportunities and blessings. And the feminine who's now resonating in this masculine energy is focused on overcoming the obstacles in a way of the soul's purpose, in, in a way of... Um, divine guidance in a way of who he or she aligns as a person and that includes unhealthy competition that includes karmic that includes anything that is not in alignment with what's going on in the feminine's life success is going on in the feminine's life coming together and balance is going on in the feminine's life working on his or her goals is what's going on in the feminine's life so if it's not conducive to new opportunities and balance and um overcoming the obstacles in a way of the soul's purpose then feminine is walking away from it. That's in, that includes unhealthy competition. So when the masculine or feminine comes together with this offer, it must mean something. It got it must be in accordance with and then the two of wands is next. The vision on his or her life. That makes sense. We have to stop accepting anything that is not in alignment with our vision. So if somebody comes together, even if you want to be with this person with an offer and it doesn't make sense, and then we got the three of cups right there. Again, the third party situations. Bullshit like that. We don't have time for it. One feminine who is now resonating as masculine is a boss. So we no longer accept third wheels. 
We're not here to be anybody's side chick. We're not here to be on the side anymore. Either choose me, which is in alignment with my balance, being balanced as a person, which is in alignment with who I am and what I want in life, or keep it moving because I'm walking away from things that no longer serve me. And that's me speaking in this energy as a feminine who now resonate as a masculine. Okay, and then we have, right, two of wands resonating with, you know, things that are no longer serving the purpose, you know, my plans. It's not in alignment with my vision, so I don't want it. Clarified by the two of wands, exactly. Two of wands clarified by the two of wands. Yep, completing cycles that's in alignment with your purpose, no longer accepting things that are that does not align with who you are as a person, moving forward on your plans, moving forward on your projects, moving forward in strategies that you've created to better yourself. Again, you're a masculine energy. So strategy could be in alignment with your business, in alignment with your life, getting your credit score up, per making purchases. You could be a real estate guru. Whatever it is that you're working to master your masculine energy, you're, you're executing your plans. The Wheel of Fortune is here and they're working. So when people start doing stuff like that, when the feminine is resonating with the masculine energy and they start working on themselves and putting their plans together, they don't accept bullshit. Like your confidence goes up. When your money goes up, sometimes your confidence goes up as well because now you're you're balanced. You're not just all spiritual waiting on spirit to do anything for you. You're masculine too, meaning you're making shit happen for yourself. So you don't want anybody that's not coming together with you with an offer that's conducive to who you are. You want a partner, a divine partner, a twin flame that's going to add to you, that's going to work with you and your vision, both of your visions, and manifest things that way. Things that no longer serve you, you're not about that. Again, because you're taking action to get out of the gate. You're taking action to manifest blessings in your life. And it's happening. I don't even have to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Change is happening. Everything is coming together for the feminine who now resonates as a masculine. And she, he or she is no longer accepting a bullshit offer. But you two are coming together. It's, it's going to come together, though. During Libra season, expect an offer. During Libra season, expect powerful changes. And I say this in a lot of my readings because a lot of my readings, that's what comes out in my readings. Something is going to happen during Libra season, whether it be manifested by you believing what I'm saying right now or by it being manifested because it's going to happen anyway. I believe it's going to happen anyway. So when you resonate with this reading and you're working on yourself, expect partnerships to come together during Libra season. But that doesn't mean you have to accept anything less than what you deserve. So if somebody comes to you with a third party situation or with something that's not conducive to the way where you are in life as a balanced masculine and feminine as a balanced vessel of God on earth, let it go. Walk away. Not telling what you do, telling you what to do, but that's just my advice. Okay, cool. Now let's check on the mask. I'm gonna leave these here just because, just in case I want to reference it. Just move it up, move them up. So, Feminine, congratulations for what you're doing. I commend you. I commend your efforts. So, let's check on the masculine. So, if the feminine is now resonating on the masculine energy, let's check the masculine. That means the masculine should be now resonating with what is being said about the feminine. Interesting. Interesting turn of events. All right. In. Mm. Okay. You are masculine a, or feminine. It's like, you know, it's hard to do labels now because um, they're resonating with each other, you know? We have both energies. They resonate with each other. Interesting, interesting, interesting. What is going on, masculine? Mm. Mm. Why are you burdened, masculine? Why are you burdening? And what are you trying to manifest? Three of air, which is, I'm telling you guys, something is going on. Three of air and eight of air again. Again, it's three of air and it's eight of air have been coming out together a lot. 
you know what? Um, three is the number of synergetic results. Eight is the number for resurrection. So, energy. that It could be divine influence. Yes, that's what it is. Threes and eight resonate with divine influence. Eight resonates with resurrection. Um, you know, in abundance and in infinity and in divine intervention. Three also resonates with synergetic results from spirit, synergetic results from an angels, ancestors, guys, masculine and feminine energy coming one in union um, with God. So 38 is something happening when we receive it. There is divine intervention right now happening to bring these two together because three, eight here, you have the three of swords and eight of swords here, and you have the three of swords and eight of swords here too as an overall energy of a masculine. So what I'm getting, that's perfect because the masculine is now resonating as the feminine because, you know, if you read that scripture, Jesus is breaking bread with the disciples, basically that means they're enlightened. So masculine is going through a period of enlightening, getting in tune with feminine energy. When that happens, when the masculine is enlightened, five of cups is like, um, and I want to clarify each of these two, just like I did the last reading, but five of cups is like, what did I do? I, like, she was right. Now he's seeing the feminine as a star. Of course you see the feminine as a star. She's successful. Look at the first card for the feminine. She's successful. The first card for the masculine is five of cups. Second card, the star. The feminine is successful, and the masculine is now, again, under divine intervention and help, now enlightened, seeing the feminine for who she is, and feeling like a fear of missing out, or the fear, like, I messed up, fear of missed opportunity with the feminine, because she's working so hard. Yes, 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 four of cups. Feeling rejected now, or feeling like, wow, like... Feeling like fear of missing out. It's like I messed up. Look at the fem look at the feminine who's now resonating as the masculine doing her thing. I messed up. I want her, but I feel like I messed up because I did I wasn't enlightened before. I wasn't awakened before. I didn't know who he or she was. So I messed up. Ten of Swords came out twice. Ten of Swords for the feminine, who now resonates as the masculine, and the Ten of Swords for the masculine, you know, aligning with feminine energy. Both completing cycles, completing cycle of balance for masculine for the feminine, completing cycles of balance for, with the feminine aspect of itself for the masculine. Yep, Ten of Fire, burdened. Again, you know, I really don't need clarifying cards for this. Because the masculine is burdened by this missed opportunity with the feminine that he or she resonates. Yep. The feminine is abundant. What are you burdened by? The feminine is a burden. I mean, ooh, child, abundant. The feminine who now resonates as the masculine is abundant. So it's bringing him, it's, it's going to take a leap of faith. For this masculine who now resonates as the feminine to approach the feminine who now resonates as the masculine because she's on her high horse, not on in a negative way, but he sees her on a pedestal now. He sees her as a boss now. He sees her in her glory. So it's like when you weren't in your glory, it's almost like back then they didn't want me now. I'm hot. They all want me. But the thing is, the masculine did want you, feminine who now resonates as the masculine. He did want you. It's just, you know, the karmic, every, he wasn't awakened. He wasn't enlightened. And the karmic was in his life, keeping him down. It was just so much going on in his life at that moment that he wasn't able to move forward with you. But now that he's awakened and enlightened, he's like, I want to move forward with the feminine. But now the feminine is in her glory or his or her glory and doing great, you know, balancing masculine energies and, and you know, her height, aligning her material self, her physical world self with her spiritual self. And I see her as somebody untouchable now. I, I hard to get. Like, I had the opportunity to get her, but now I feel like, and it's all in the masculine's head, too. It's like, now I feel like she ain't going to want to be with me because I didn't want her when she didn't have everything that she has now, he or she. Yep, but it's going to take faith. It's going to be a leap of faith for this masculine to get 
um, the courage to come to this beautiful, beautiful feminine. It's going to take a faith because she's abundant. She don't need him financially. Yep. 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 But, you know, you can't think negative like that. If you want something, you got to go out and go for it. Masculine, if you're watching this video. Masculine who now resonates as the feminine and not feminine as in gender, feminine as in spirit. Masculine who's now aligning with his spirit, his or her spirit. What's this draw of air? Rest. I think spirit is just saying, you know, the masculine just needs to rest. You know, rest your thoughts. Rest your thoughts of inadequacy. Rest your thoughts of a missed opportunity. Rest your thoughts and start manifesting this connection. Yep. I just, man. Yeah. The sun. The sun is resonating. You know, that's pure masculine energy and manifestation as well. And the magician is right here. So this three combination here with the four of air, the sun, and the magician, and also with the six of wands. Um, Sorry, you guys. This, let me see. Light. Is that better? With the six of wands. Remember, the first card that came out for the feminine was the six of wands. The last card that came out with the masculine is the six of wands. Six of wands. Overall energy, we have death, which is transformation. So the masculine is being awakened and transforming. But anyway, this um, six of wands, the sun, this magician, and four of swords combination. Masculine um, spirit is saying, okay, so the masculine then rests or needs to rest and figure out how to manifest this connection with the feminine. When I see the six of wands, I resonate with being an example of the feminine because the feminine is the first card that came out. Remember, for the feminine who now resonates as the masculine was the six of wands. So figure out a successful strategy, figure out a way to manifest this connection with the feminine from a place of peace, from a place of harmony, from a place of meditation, from a place of rejuvenation. Yeah, because the sun resonates with rejuvenation as well as the four of swords. Rejuvenate your thoughts, rejuvenate your mind, rejuvenate this connection with the feminine. It's possible, especially if a woman loves you or a man or woman loves you um, when before they had whatever it is they have it, they no longer love you when they're in the spotlight or when they're doing well. Was it really love or was it really a connection or was it really a divine partnership? You know? So this fear is inadequate. This fear isn't real because if a person wants to be with you and you come at them correctly, remember the feminine who now resonates as the masculine is no longer taking bullshit. But if you come correct with an offer that's conducive to his or her vision, he or she will not say no to that. Again, divine intervention is not only in your life. Feminine got 38 in her reading as well. Feminine who now resonates as the masculine got 38 too. So the divine is at play in both of you guys by balancing you both and bringing you both together. Feminine got the divine intervention at play, bringing together her projects, her masculine energy, her hard work, her career is paying off. Masculine is being awakened, spiritually being enlightened to um, the connection, but being aligned to his or her spirit self as well. So spirit is working in both of you guys' lives to bring you both together, blessing you both, bringing you, putting you together, holding on to each other, and holding on to your purpose and, 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 and going for it and transforming. So it's nothing to worry about, really. So spirit is saying rest and focus on manifesting, rejuvenating and manifesting this connection. But spirit is working with you, so it's going to work out. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I ask that you like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know your thoughts. Um, if you want to support me in my effort at Gym Body, I'll tell my story for more. Um, I'll probably do a video explaining my story because Mercury retrograde was very difficult for me. And I was in mental and kind of spiritual turmoil because, you know, I had this tower moment, but I had to go with it. I had to go with spirit, but sometimes it hurts really bad to be taken out of your comfort zone. And, you, you know, even if you were complacent and you know that you weren't supposed to be. So now I'm blessed with a new opportunity with my retail store and warehouse. And I'm going to just go for it. So if you would like to support me and my dreams, let me know. I'll click the link. I'll put the link in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. And I wish you love, life, and more life. Love, lights, and more life. <laughs> Peace.